Are you someone who struggles with burning yourself on a curling wand? These seven tips will help you avoid burns. Using a curling wand can be pretty dangerous because there are so many ways that you can burn yourself. Your skin, fingers, and face are more exposed to the heat than with any other styling tool, especially since you rely on your fingers to hold your hair on to the tool. Honestly, even with as much practice as I have, I still burn myself if I'm not careful or not paying enough attention. So I've compiled this list of seven tips to help you avoid burns. Tip number one is give yourself plenty of space. You wanna make sure that you have plenty of elbow room to spread out whenever you are curling your hair. The more cramped and tight space that you are in, the more likely you'll hold the curling wand closer to your space. If you have a little bit more elbow room, you can hold it out a little bit further from yourself. You also wanna make sure that you have plenty of space and a nice area to set the curling wand down on. That way you're not fumbling with it when you're trying to change pieces of hair, set it down, reset and start again. I also like to set mine down on a silicone heating pad. I feel like it kind of grabs it a little bit more and has a nice place to set it down on and it helps me not worry about the heat messing up my counter. Tip number two is take it slow. When you're in a rush, you are much more likely to make careless mistakes and burn yourself. Especially when you're starting out, give yourself plenty of time. That way you are not in a hurry and you can go slow. And don't be afraid to restart. There are plenty of times that I have to drop a piece of my hair because it's not on there well and wrap it again and restart. There's no harm in doing that and the curl will turn out a lot nicer if you do it right. My next tip is pick a curler with a plastic tip. When you're curling your hair, it can be pretty tiring. You're holding both arms out and above your head and your hands can get tired. I like a plastic tip on my curler for two different reasons. Number one, whenever I am holding my hair out, sometimes I like to rest my palm or the edge of my hand on the plastic tip whenever I'm curling my hair. The other reason I like a plastic tip is because I like to dump the curl out into my hand and then hold it up for just a few seconds while it cools down before I let it drop. That helps the curl hold a little bit better. And you can't do that unless you have a plastic tip on the end of your curler. I have used other curlers in the past that didn't have a plastic tip. And no matter how many times I told myself not to touch the tip to my palm, I still did it anyway and burned myself. So a plastic tip can really help you there. Tip number four is wear heat protectant gloves. If you are just starting out or used to a curling iron with a clamp on it, you might want to invest in some heat protectant gloves. The heat protectant gloves will allow you to be able to touch the hot places on the curler with your fingers or your hands and not burn yourself. Personally, I really don't like the heat protectant gloves because I feel like it makes it harder for me to comb my fingers through my hair. But if you're somebody who is worried about getting burned or a little bit clumsy, a heat protectant glove will probably be a good investment. Some curlers do come with like a three finger heat protectant glove, but that does only protect the tip of your fingers. I would suggest a whole hand glove because that can protect your whole hand. I know that I and other people I know had a tendency to burn right here on your hand. So a three finger glove will not protect your palm or any other area of your hand that you might also burn. Tip number five is hold your fingers away from the wand. So if you are like me and choose not to wear a heat protectant glove, whenever I am curling my hair around the wand, when I get to the end, I hold the last inch or so pretty far away from the edge of the wand. The closer you get it to the edge of the wand, the more likely you are to burn your fingers. Honestly, it's not really necessary to get every last inch of your hair around the wand, especially since wands are really great for beachy and loose waves. The very end of it doesn't need to be super curled anyway, because you're probably likely to brush it out in order to get loose waves. So save the tips of your fingers and hold your fingers out a little bit away from the wand. Tip number six is hold the wand upside down. The best way to use a curling wand is to hold the base with the tip pointing away from your face and upside down. That way, whenever you wrap your hair around the wand, you are wrapping from the base all the way out 
to the tip. Not only will that create nicer waves, it's going to take the hot part of the wand away from your face. That way you are less likely to burn your face or your ears. My last tip is to start curling several inches away from your head. When you're curling your hair, you don't need to start the curl right at your scalp. I like to hold my curling wand several inches away and start the curl a couple of inches down the hair. That way you are not getting the hot part of the curler as close to your face and you'll be less likely to burn your face or your ears. For more beauty tips, click right here for my beauty tips and tricks playlist.